So one thing that uh, drew my attention was when you guys were in the process of creating Wolves, I think you had quoted that you were trying to figure out where Rise Against fit in the music industry or in the music world. Why did that, you know, come to mind? I think that like the artists and bands, musicians speaking out about politics, that uh, barometer has changed since we started. When we were when we were doing it. We were one of the only bands that would show up to a festival like this and have like political songs or a political right. stance. And now I feel like artists are really finally owning that, you know, and starting to talk about what's happening in the world. You know, we live in, we live in desperate times, desperate times call for desperate measures, and artists are starting to reflect that. So as art starts to reflect that, I figured, like, where, where do we still fit into that? Like, what should we be doing in a world where artists are finally talking about this stuff? And um, that was kind of a question we went into the record with. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, over the over the years of, of this the career for the band, like you guys went through four different presidential um, uh, candidates. So you know, how how much impact did that have in the creative process of the of the music? It kind of clues you into the the uh, the fact that some. Of, up a oh bit. yeah, sure. Sorry. There we go. It's, it kind of clues you into the idea that um, a lot of the problems that we deal with as a society are they're systemic. They're part of. They're part of the system. They're not. They're not a specific president or a specific right. person, but they are. The the presidents come and go, but these problems, you know, remain the same. And so, as a band, I think we're trying always to sing songs that treat the disease, not just the symptoms. Right. And then lastly, what is the involvement with Emily from Punk Rock and Paintbrushes? I was just with her a couple weeks ago, and I know you guys were doing some collaboration. Yeah. You know what's funny is that so none of us are artists, but like, <laughs> she asked me to like write lyrics on a painting she made. Uh, years and years ago yeah. and I did that and she kind of credits that to like kicking off the whole idea and so whenever I see her she's all we're always talking about how like that was kind of the first painting even though I'm not a painter right. but it was like <laughs> the first thing that gave her the idea to do this and now she has lots of great artists like Matt Skiba and Hunter from AFI and like you know, there's a lot of amazing people out there that artists that don't just play and write music but also are cool artists so it's great that Emily has given them a home for that. Tonight we're here at Alter Ego. Um, it's cool that we get opportunities like bands like you guys that grew up in the punk scene, the punk world, to, to have bigger bigger shows like this. Uh, you just got off of a major tour with AFI and Anti-Flag, but what does it mean to come to a, an event like this? It's, it's cool to come here as representatives from a punk rock and hardcore world. That, that's where we started and it snowballed into this, what you see today, but it's cool to kind of come out here and fly that flag and be like, this is who we are and this is who we represent and we stand here representing a lot of the bands that came before us.